Good morning, grade three. I welcome you to today's social studies lesson. And today we are going to continue reading about suburban communities. Again, the objective will be to identify and define features of suburban communities. First, I want you to look at this picture and observe it, analyze it, maybe pause the video. Great, so what do you see? You can see that this is the skyline of a city nearby this suburban community. There's a highway, lots of traffic here, lots of greenery around this area, right? Now that's the caption. Many people drive to and from the suburbs and New York City. So these are people coming from New York City. And then these are people driving towards New York City. Let's have a closer look and read. And before we read, let's analyze this uh, page here. This is your heading. Right here is a table. Now we know that tables are a very easy way to navigate uh, and uh, explore data, right? That's the heading of this table. Before we start reading, let's read and let's find out what is this table trying to tell us. So the title here is Top 5 Ways Suburban Workers Travel to New York City. And the first way is by subway, second by train, third by car, fourth by bus, and five by ferry. Great, so there are so many ways that people can travel from uh, Maplewood all the way to New York City. Let's read. Long ago, communities were often built near railroad stations. Great. What's, this, what's the title of this paragraph? Urban Connections. So we're going to connect suburbs with the uh, urban communities in this paragraph, right? And you can see that the uh, the opening sentence uh, is explaining how these communities were formed. Let's read. Long ago, communities were often built near railroad stations. As people moved from large cities to these communities, the communities grew into suburbs. As more and more people began driving cars, more suburbs were built near roads and highways. Today, people in suburbs travel on trains, subways, and highways to nearby cities. Maplewood is its own town, but it is closely connected to New York City. Like John's parents, many people in Maplewood work in New York City. Suburban citizens also travel to urban areas to visit interesting places. Many suburbs have their own theaters and museums, but nearby cities offer people more choices. John and his family visit New York City to see his favorite sports teams compete. So that was the urban connection with the suburban communities. How did suburban communities come into being. Let's look at this picture right here on the second page. Most suburban communities have parks because there's more space, remember? No crowded, tall buildings. Let's read. Suburbs grow. Today, more and more people are living in the suburban regions. Businesses are moving to the suburbs. This allows them to be closer to people's homes. It also costs less to run a business in the suburbs. Museums and other cultural sites are also being built in these suburbs. In many suburbs, people attend music concerts and other events. Though still connected to cities, these suburbs are their own communities. Great. So I want you to reflect on all this information that we've read and think about Qatar. What suburban communities are, exist here in Qatar? So think about Al-Wakra, al, al -Kir. Many years ago, uh, it was a suburb. Uh, very few people lived there. But now as the downtown Doha and Qatar gets populated, uh, we can see that uh, that part of the country also grew. So suburbs grow. 
Great, so what's the main idea in detail? The question is how are suburb, suburban and urban areas connected? So you can answer this question in the discussion uh, today and also read the summary. You can pause and read the summary on this page. So well done, grade three. Now, what do I want you to do? I don't, uh, I want you to uh, research about suburban communities in Qatar. I'm gonna share some links with you. Don't worry about that. And I'll also share some links about suburban com communities all around the world. And please do not forget to join the discussion and upload your VEC and schoolwork to share what you've learned. Let's deflect grade three.